Hello everyone. Yes, what's this? I'm back with a new video. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been a couple of weeks and I, I apologize for not uploading much uh, for not uploading at all actually. But it's been rough and I took a few weeks out. I was really needing that time. So I'm back, um, and I'm back with a watercolor painting of a Alice in Wonderland caterpillar. It's a simple illustration. I wanted to really try my hand out at a few new things. And for this watercolor, I was sort of uninspired, but I made it an exercise and midway through it I started enjoying it more and I used my uh, Ganzai Tambi Kuretake uh, watercolors and I was really surprised on how much I liked them I mean the colors are great very vibrant very beautiful and for this type of subject I think they're actually ideal I mean they're they're really good beautiful colors and though I have a little uh, I did have a little bit of a problem in basically working with the cold press sorry the hot press paper I'm not used to it because it has very little or almost no texture at all I still enjoyed working on it uh, a lot although you know it took me a lot of you know brush stroke editing to get to where I want it. And of course, for a really good watercolorist, this, this painting will just look like a mess. It's really overworked and uh, over-rendered and so on and so forth. But, you know, I'm pretty new to watercolors, so I kind, I kind of allowed myself to just try new things. Just, just enjoy it. And I gotta say, I really had... Uh, a good time and a lot of fun with with the watercolors and working on this on this painting. Now the thing that I'm really having issues with is basically my filming setup, and that kind of changed uh, in these last few weeks. I had to move my workspace to another part of the of the room and change a few things in terms of lighting. And I now have a more practical setup, and I really like it. But now I'm struggling with the application that I used to film, because I use my phone for this. And uh, it's, it's sad that, you know, I actually paid for this application. It's really, I really like the application, but it doesn't work the same way twice, as you can actually see for the differences uh, on these sections of the video in which the only difference that there was was the fact that the settings on the phone would change uh, from day to day and I don't know exactly why because I used manual settings so supposedly you're coming off this setting these presets that uh, would change according to your uh, to your lighting conditions and I'm manipulating every single setting manually and I still got this weird difference between all the videos I was making so same light same conditions different white balances different lighting um, exposures it just got really chaotic so for now I, I can't do better I don't know how to do better and I apologize for that I'll try and improve my setup um, I'll keep trying. I'll try and find. If you guys know about any application that is solid, and by the way, I've, I've, I'm using ProCam, and I also own Filmic Pro, and they both suck. I know everybody raves about these applications, but the truth is, they're not as good as the people say. They crash a lot. They don't preserve presets as as well as they should, or as well as they advertise. Um, I've been filming these videos with ProCam, which 
sometimes works amazingly, beautifully, and sometimes is complete crap. So, I don't know, if you guys know any reliable application that I can use for manual setting and capturing time lapses on my camera, on my phone, I mean, please let me know. I own an iPhone and I'll just, yeah, I'll just ask you guys, please, if you know, just let me know. Because it's, it's, at this point, it's kind of a, it's an issue. Because I really want to film more and um, when I, when I get to the, when I get to Final Cut Pro, I get sad <laughs> with the footage. Now, I wanted to, to say that I'm also getting back into oils, as I said, I think, in a previous video. And that um, has been quite a learning curve, not only in the painting aspect itself, but the filming, because, you know, producing an oil painting is, is way, it takes way more time than a simple drawing or a simple watercolor painting or something like that. It just becomes much more of a, at least for me so far with what I do, uh, it becomes much more of a, a, a long, long run thing that spans across maybe a month or something or a few weeks at least. And I allow for drying time, although I do use uh, liquid it still takes like a, a day or two to dry the, the layer thoroughly. And I've been experimenting with different techniques. And um, I think I'm going to post next week one of the my experiments. It's mostly a study, so it's not going to be anything really serious. Something I've been trying to do and learn. And um, it's kind of a preparatory work. You can see it as preparatory work for future for future paintings. But I think it's also necessary so that I can get, you know, get there, basically. So that's probably my next video is going to be about that. I'm also doing another gouache painting of our, uh, our uh, family-friendly Hellspawn. <laughs> and I've been actually re-watching this series on, on the Hellspawn, the HBO animated series holy shit they're good they're old but they're really really nice uh, late 90s animation and really dark and gritty I really like them and yeah it's been it's been fun to do that it's been fun to, to do that while I'm working on a spawn illustration and um, very inspiring as well um, yeah I guess that's it guys I don't want to keep you for um, more time than I need to at this point I'm also really tired today so I'm editing this at you know a late Sunday night so I'm off to bed and I hope you guys are okay and um, hope you guys enjoy this it's a very simple painting but it, uh, it was fun not at first but then it became a lot of fun and in the end I really enjoyed the result and I might even do more of this thing. I kind of like this as a more of a book kind of illustration, like a, I'd say like a children's book illustration thing. Not completely, but I, I kind of like it in that regard. And I think actually watercolor is a really good medium for that. So anyway, I'll see you guys next week on my next video. Keep safe, have fun, and uh, see you next week.